Developing tonight at City Hall, the feds leveled criminal charges against 20th Ward Alderman Willie Cochran. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonio reports even with the charges, the Alderman showed up to City Council. Why did you make so many amendments to your campaign finance reports? 20th Ward Alderman Willie Cochran is swarmed by reporters as he leaves City Council moments after his federal indictment becomes public. We have to look at the details. I have not seen any details, and so I, it's not possible for me to make any kind of comment. The 15 count indictment accuses Cochran of taking $30,000 from a fund meant for seniors and kids, using $25,000 and gambling it away at casinos. 5000 for his daughter's college tuition, shaking down a lawyer for $1,500 in exchange for federal housing funds, and extorting $3,000 from a store owner to obtain a liquor license. Why did you make so many amendments to your campaign finance reports? Because the law allows it. Cochran's lawyer, Thomas A. Durkin, says he still has to fully review the indictment, adding, I believe there may be significant legal and factual challenges to it. Alderman Cochran has a tremendous reputation and has been a community leader for years, in addition to being a Chicago police officer. On his Facebook page, Cochran posted yesterday, Good and bad times. God is there giving his grace, favor, and forgiveness, struggling with and overcoming the demons that enter into our lives at any given time. Constituents we spoke to told us the indictment didn't come as a shock. He's not taking care of the neighborhood, this neighborhood at this present time. You just felt he hadn't been doing a very good job as no. alderman. Well, ex exactly, exactly, exactly. So this indictment doesn't surprise you? No. Barry Dobbs grew up in the 20th Ward. We are there starving. We're hurting. They're supposed to represent us, and they're not. Uh, they're lying in their pockets, not our pockets. Now, Cochran's lawyer says in his words, we intend to fight these charges vigorously. Cochran says he intends to continue his work in spite of this indictment right now in the 20th Ward. Live in the newsroom, Suzanne LeMignot, CBS 2 News. Erica. Okay, Suzanne, thank you.